Hey guys, so this video is going to be about voting this year's election and people. Um, <clears throat> I, I normally am not the type that tells cares how people vote to an extent. I mean, I think some people vote very stupidly, you know, uninformed people, but I think this election is one that I'm not a, I'm not the, the biggest Trump fan. You know, I like his anti-war stance, even though he dropped a bunch of he drone strike a bunch of places, but that's a different story. Anyway, Kamala Harris's what she wants to do is just I, I I don't think the uninformed quite get it. Like price controls never work. They just don't. You can't price control groceries. Grocery stores run off very slim margins. If you do that, they'll close and then people will starve. Farmers, I mean you want prices to go down? Personally, I think farmlands should not be taxed. They just shouldn't. At all. If you're a farmer, you pay no property tax. You pay no tax on any profit you make. Any vehicle you need to buy, tax-free. You shouldn't have to register it. I don't know if you do. I'm not a farmer. But, I, no. No taxes. Make it as cheap as possible for farmers to operate. And... But, but it's not even just the price controls. It's 25% tax on unrealized gains. So for instance, my wife and I bought our house for $235,000. I mean, we owe, I don't know, 210 on it or something like that. We've only been there like going on four years and prices have shot up. Um, now that house is worth 400, I think it's like, 38,000 which is insane it's almost pretty much it's pretty much doubled in price <clears throat> now if I do my taxes I will have to pay 25% on what it's worth that's a hundred thousand dollars there's no way I can afford to pay that and even if it's just on the gains on what it's increased in value that's two hundred thousand that's fifty thousand dollars the average person won't be able to do that. And people don't quite understand. Now, that that's why people lose farmland. It's because taxes. You say your great-great-great-grandfather has a couple hundred acres of farmland. Taxes raise on that. They, they go up. And you have to pay taxes. You can't afford to do it, so you sell off a few parcels to pay the taxes. And then come next time you have to pay taxes, you still can't afford to pay the taxes. Eventually, you don't have any farmland left. So it's like, that that's what would happen. We would literally have to sell our house to pay taxes, or, or the state would just take it. And we are not rich people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't even make a hundred grand between the two of us. My wife doesn't work very very much. She works two days a week because we have children. And I don't, the, the average person doesn't get that. The average person that's worked so hard to actually get a house that are, that's voting for Kamala Harris, if she enacts that, you're losing your house. And I don't think I, it's not that I don't think. I know that they don't get it. They're voting based solely on feeling. Like, oh my God, they're going to give us 25 grand to put it on down payment on a house? All right, that $400,000 house is now going to go sell for $425,000. It's just like the basic income. If they give you $1,200 a month, just free, so you think, it's actually taxpayer funded, so you can help pay your rent, your landlord's just going to raise your rent by $1,200. This is the problem with people that either have a short attention span, they don't remember anything, or they're young. It's just like, when I started working, minimum wage was $4.25. I remember when it shot up to what it is now. Prices went up when that happened. Rent went up when that happened. Everything goes up when minimum wage goes up. 
So if you're gonna get $1,200 extra a month from the government, they will raise prices. Price controls won't prevent that either. You need to make the money worth more. You need to incentivize companies to pay their employees more and give them better benefits. That's how you make a better economy. You can't do government mandates and think it will work because it never works. It doesn't and it won't. It's communism. Communism has never worked because the people that believe in it are tyrannical. So I think this uh, election season, it's 100% Trump. Like there's no other option. Nobody else is gonna win. I usually vote libertarian this time. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. So I hope you do the same. Have a good day.